What's up, Taurus? This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot here to look at your week ahead starting November 25th, 2024. Taurus, I hope all is well. This week I'm using the Golden Tarot to deliver your messages. I have gone ahead and uh, reversed just a few cards, so don't worry too much about it. We're just going to cleanse the energies from Dawn Aries, Aries' messages, and we shall begin with your messages. However, before I begin, I want to wish all the bulls out there who are celebrating Thanksgiving this week a very happy and safe Thanksgiving celebration. All right, so the energy here for my bulls, what's coming up for Taurus? What is the potential energy for Taurus this week? All right, here we go, Taurus. The first card in energy, uh, well, celebrations, rightfully so. All right, so the four of wands is showing up in your spread, and this is about happiness, celebrations. So it could be celebrating that Thanksgiving dinner with your family members, friends. It could be the um, celebration of someone's birthday, anniversary. Of course, someone could be getting married here. Someone could be deciding to relocate to a different area. And even though this is your very first card that we have drawn I still would say that it could be that someone decides to relocate to a different area and they will purchase property or a home. Always the shared happiness together with others inside a structure of a building. So it could mean that, um, you know, romantic couple, uh, comp yeah, romantic couples decide to <laughs> move in with one another. Friends decide to move in with one another. Also, family members decide to move in with one another. All right, so we start off with the Four of Wands here. Now we have the Page of Wands that's going to sit on top of that Four of Wands. And this is something that comes in very, very fast, usually regarding something that may put a smile on your face. Now, that smile could come from a phone call, may have some sort of direct or significant impact from the energies of the Four of Wands, depending on you and your situation. Always an element of surprise. It could come from, you know... A, Anything of you know that you're waiting for in the mail to arrive. Also, the page of wands could be for any bull who may be in the pursuit of starting a new hap, uh, yeah, a new hobby or create a pursuit, and that's the beginning stages of passion. Now, this also too could be, you know, starting a new romantic relationship or a platonic friendship. Mm. Okay, up next here for you, uh, Taurus. We're going to. Okay, we got the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is um, victory and success, seeking excitement or adventure. This is a card that always represents clarity. So um, you want to be sure, you want to be certain about something before you move to strike with that sword. This is about first actions and first moves. So the sword is usually used, uh, Taurus, to clear up on you know confusion, uncertainty, doubts, fears. That may be centered around a situation, person, or event, all right? So you got the Ace of Swords. That victory and success can be attached to almost anything else that you got going on in your life this week. Then we have the uh, King of Wands, okay? She's always, or he's always focused on something or someone, normally going after whatever it is that uh, he or she is focused on. This is a, a strong energy of attraction that you may be drawn near to you. All right. Very intense, very passionate. And of course, I always talk about they could be expressing themselves or you could be expressing yourself sexually uh, in a manner um, that could be dynamic. Just, you know, very intense, very passionate. Also, um, for the Taurus that is, you know, creative. Again, the King of Wands will send in that burst of energy to help you along the way. Then we have the Six of Swords. Now, this is the card that represents traveling, but there could be a source of energy that's moving away from you. Things are uh, less stressful for you this week, uh, possibly. Things calming down, smooth sailing, smooth passages. If you are traveling, could be connected directly to, um, you know, traveling to see family members, friends, romantic partners, engaging in the Thanksgiving holiday, okay? Uh, if you are, you're safe to and from. Now, like that... Uh, four of Wands, the happiness card, someone could still be seriously thinking about relocating to a different area and or purchasing some sort of form of property. 
Okay, that sits on the court card, the focus of what you may be focused on this week. And possibly what you go after. Then we have the King of Swords. Oh my God. So this is major action and major decisions. Just like that Ace of Swords, always communicating, always clearing up some sort of confusion, uncertainties, doubts, fears, uh, worries that could be, you know, directly impacted, you know, coming from the energies of a uh, situation, person, or event. All right. That's the King of Swords. So there's something you're going to do this week very seriously. Now, it could be, you know, tied into the message that I already spoke about when it comes to the Six of Swords or the Four of Wands for some of you. Then we have the Major Arcana, the Chariot. Oh, my God. So the Chariot is here, uh, Taurus. And um, for some strange reason, I'm looking at this, my window, my camera window, and this, the cards don't look focused. So I don't know. All right, let's see. Maybe my ass is blind. Okay, I hope this is not too much light, too much glare. The chariot just represents some sort of rapid change coming in for you very uh, fast, uh, Taurus, and it's usually positive. Now, of course, I always talk about the chariot since it's movement. Again, you're safe to and from. If you are traveling to visit family members, friends for the holiday, and then, you know, we don't have any, um, nope, we don't have any pentacles, but still, it's a major arcana. Someone could be with the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords having to make a decision about purchasing a car, a new car. Uh, having to make a decision about car repairs, major or minor. I equate the chariot with that of the star card. So again, what you're hip, you know, hoping for, wishing for, praying for may come to you in terms of uh, manifesting. Um just don't be the bull that gets behind the source of any vehicles and disregard the speeding limit. I always have to throw that in there because a lot of people come back and tell me you were right. Even though this is a very positive card, I always pick up the energy that you could be disregarding the speeding limit and uh, end up with a moving violation. Okay. Since I equate the chariot with the star card, so social media, social networking taking place. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's a very positive card to receive in your spread. On top of that chariot here for you, Taurus, we have the, oh, now we have the upside down King of Cups. King of Cups is um, feeling some type of way emotionally. Someone is either emotionally let down or disappointed. Now, of course, you know, the holidays always brings on that source of energy where someone is never a happy camper. Someone doesn't always like to be, you know, um good you know good company or good people around the holidays so that could be a source of energy of why the king of cups is in the um reverse position now of course this is male energy so it could be you know your your husband your boyfriend your grandfather your uncle your brother whatever somebody's just not a happy camper here okay um so you sort of more or less can expect that in terms of someone being emotionally dis you know emotionally discontent here and not trusting your intuition, not trusting themselves, feeling emotionally vulnerable here. Up next here for you, Taurus, we have the Page of Pentacles. This is the job offer, business, um, birth of a business ideal. Could be a contract offer. Could be the start of how you see or view your financial situation beginning to improve. For some of you, could be for the very first time. Then we have the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups comes through with options, trusting your, in now you trust your intuition, even though the King of Cups is about that intuition. Seven of Cups, however, is about your intuition. So there may be many options that open up to you this week, making sure that um, you are choosing the Ace of Swords, the King of Swords, what's going to be best for you. And because this is the um, week of <clears throat> family get togethers there could be what's coming towards you a greater dedication and devotion from those energies on top of the ace i'm sorry the seven of swords now we have no seven of cups four of cups in an alignment with everything else that's going on in terms of celebrations the four of cups is about socializing celebrating with family members friends romantic partners in this instance though this could be some of you um, get together with those family members. It's an even number of cups. So emotionally, what you give is what you're going to get back. Could be eating out at diners or restaurants for the Thanksgiving dinner. 
up next now we have the major arcana the death card so you know i can spend all day telling you what i feel the death card may mean to you but it's about major life transformation something has to come to a close taurus something will come to a close once you identify it uh and then something's going to replace that always uh the endings and then new beginnings but you know the most simplest thing that i read from the death card, first and foremost, it never ever physically denotes death, okay? But it also could be that you're just getting rid of something that has built up. It could be clutter, clearing space, that sort of thing. Following that, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Here's the money improvement again. So some of you working hard are paying uh, attention to the details of your work. For some of you, it could be a promotion, it could be a pay raise. And then you can regard this Eight of Pentacles as balanced energy. So that energy could be stretched out into other areas of your life. And then just, you know, being that we have already have the Page of Pentacles, that, you know, what I had said about your money situation improving or, you know, feeling stabilized or grounded, that's the Eight of Pentacles. On top of the Eight of Pentacles now, we have the Eight of Wands. So something coming in very, very fast this week to put a smile on your face. Again, like the Chariot and the Six of Swords is involving that traveling. Again, if you're traveling to and from, you're going to be safe. What you need to express this week, communicate, will be well received by others, Taurus. And then the information, communication that comes from them to you will be well received by you. Okay, so <clears throat> the good news uh, could come through via a phone call, text messages. It could come through the mail. It's always an element of surprise with the eight of wands and that energy is coming in very very fast last card that i have for you taurus is the major arcana the hermit this is just simply neutral energy to me so you know during the holidays some some of you might just want to detach and want to be by yourself not necessarily isolate yourself but you don't want to get into all of the uh fanfare of the holidays and it could be for um, those bulls out there who are just single and not engaging yourself in family matters. Um, so spending quality, you know, quiet times alone, reading, you know, possibly reading or catching up on a book, um, could be a, a source of meditation, could be doing some soul searching. doesn't have to be heavy. It could be just that you're thinking about something or a topic, um, surrounding your energies that you want to work on to arrive at some sort of answer. The lantern that he holds is usually the light at the end of the tunnel for me. So you're not going to stay in this situation too long for whatever reason. Okay, so this is the hermit. And it's just, you know, momentarily detaching your energies from those sources of energies that you have, a, you know, attach yourself to. Okay, so this is what I have for you this week, Taurus. And in my opinion, it's not too bad. Just take what's going to work for you. Leave the rest alone. Please like the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, you guys have a safe, great uh, week ahead. Happy Thanksgiving once again for all who are celebrating. Excuse me. Always come back to get more of these messages from me, Taurus. And uh, I will talk to you soon. Ciao.